She's lovely. She's gorgeous. She's immaculate. She's amazing. Let's make a sandwich for my husband. I gave him a to-do list on Football Sunday. Forgive me, guys. I know that that's pretty much a sin. Jaguars won, though, so that's great. Um, but because he's working on the to-do list when I know that he would rather be watching football all day, um, I'm going to make him a really good sandwich. So this is the uh, five grain bread from Publix. Um, they use these like in the deli area where they make pub subs, but they also sell loaves of them individually in the bakery section. So I just grabbed one of those loaves and we are going to get right into it. It's kind of like to press, my hands are clean. I just kind of like to press down on the bread because you know Publix bread can be like a little bit stiff. So on one side, I'm gonna go ahead and use this Boar's Head uh, Gourmets. It's like a chipotle uh, pepper mixture mixed with mayonnaise. And neither me nor my husband really like regular mayonnaise, so I thought this was like a good alternative. Also gonna put some of my favorite mustard. It's Ingelhofer Stone Ground Mustard. I get this from Publix, but I'm pretty sure you can find it at other places too. And then I'm also gonna add some of my favorite hot sauce. This is the Pain is Good hot sauce from Spice and Foods. Y'all, if you've been following me for a little bit, you know I talk about these people all the time, well, this company all the time. Oh, I'm running out. But I got extra in the cabinet, so it's fine. Use a butter knife and just smooth it out. It's kind of a lot. Go all the way to the edges. I don't want it to get kind of stuck in the crack. All right, we're all smoothed out. I was gonna panic because I thought that I only had the empty bottle left, but I had one more bottle left in the cupboard. Thank goodness. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start adding the cheese. Oh, this is provolone cheese, by the way. Not my preference, but it's his preference, and this is his sandwich since he's sacrificing today <laughs> for me. My family comes in town next weekend for Thanksgiving, by the way, which is why I gave them the to-do list. Five slices of provolone, and then Let's go ahead and add our salami because I don't have that many pieces left. I have to give my uh, dog some puppy tax because they're such good boy and girl. Such a good boy and girl. Sit, come over here. Can you sit? Sit, sit. There you go. I didn't want it too, too toasted. Just the cheese a little melted so it kind of like spreads evenly. So I don't have any regular lettuce right now. I think my husband would probably prefer regular lettuce, but we've got to use what we have. I think I need some more. Okay, got some more spinach. The good thing about Publix bread is like it's thick, so you can like make the sandwich thick. Miss Shenady girl, this is not for the baby. This is not for the baby girl, this is for daddy. Now I'm gonna start adding the next ingredient, which some of you are gonna be like, what the heck? Uh, but it's my husband's favorite. It's garlic bologna. It's the boar's head one and he gets it like super thinly sliced. To be honest, I've never tried it before. Also going to add some boar's head ham. I wanna say it's garlic ham. It says bold pepinero garlic ham. I'm gonna do it this way, kind of like sideways. This is looking so pretty, so beautiful. Now we're gonna do some veggies. Let's start with the tomato, some of our red onion. My husband, I don't think, had ever really had red onion until he met me. And red onion is my favorite, now it's his favorite. Now I'm gonna add some of these fresh jalapenos as well yum 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 i'm gonna add some of these sliced pepperoncinis now these came from a jar uh they were whole and i just kind of like sliced them now i'm going to add on top of the vegetables the boar's head uh, deli dressing it is amazing it's better to put it like on top of veggies so it doesn't soak the bread because it will it'll super soak it <laughs> So now we're gonna add a little bit of freshly grated Parmesan. I didn't think the provolone like was gonna add enough flavor. So we're just gonna. Okay. Oh my gosh, you know what I just realized? I haven't used any seasoning. That's an embarrassment. Before we do seasoning, I'll go ahead and add these. These are kind of like the crispy onions that I use, but they're called crispy dills. They're pickle flavored fried cucumbers, <laughs> which sounds crazy, but only a little bit left. 
Now I'm just gonna add some freshly ground black pepper, garlic powder, and some Italian seasoning. And we are done, let's close it up. Awesome. And there she is. She's gorgeous, she's beautiful, she's huge.